So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to explore two different techniques for finding the percent of change. And to do that, we're going to answer the question, a 120-pound man becomes 200 pounds. What is the percent change in weight? Well, the first thing that we really need to understand when dealing with percent change is that change can be either an increase or it can be a decrease. And so we need to make sure that eventually in the end we indicate whether we had an increase or a decrease. And there's a couple different ways we can do that. The first thing we can do is we can actually just kind of use some common sense and see that in this particular question we have a 120 pound man becomes 200 pounds. And, and the key there really is the word becomes. Uh, that tells us that he started at 120 and became 200 pounds. So this isn't going to be an increase and I'll just make a note of that by putting an up arrow. Now to solve this, what we're going to do is we're going to look at using a proportion as well as using an equation. So we'll do the proportion method first. And just like all our proportions, we're going to have uh, words, we're going to have some number values, and we're going to have some percent values. And when we do this, really what, what, the, words, what the words are is we are going to be comparing change because we're trying to find the percent change. So change has to be part of our comparison and we're going to compare the amount of change or, or the total change to the original amount. And so in reading our question what we can do is we can, uh, we can work this out. Uh, first of all to find the amount of change what we really need to do is we need to understand how to calculate that. And change is calculated as the new amount minus the original amount. So really that's going to be 200 pounds, that's what the man now is, and he was 120, so that gives us a change of 80, so that change equals 80. And notice that it's positive 80, and that makes sense because this is an increase, and increase is positive. So the amount of change, or the, right, the amount of change is 80, and the original amount was 120. The percent change, well we don't know what that is, so that's going to be our variable, and the original percent is always 100. So now we actually have a very simple cross products that we can work out. So we know it's going to be 80 times 100 equals 120n. So I'm going to divide by 120, divide by 120, and now I'll break out my calculator to do that. 80 times 100 divided by 120 equals 66.6 percent. So that equals 66.6 .6 repeating percent, or I guess I could say 66 and two-thirds percent. Now the key thing here, remember, is that change can be an increase or a decrease, so I'm going to state that this is a 66.6 .6 percent increase. Okay, I'm going to make sure that I do that so I can see that I've indicated that. The second way to do this of course is to use an equation and, and really we can build our equation from our proportion here and if you think about what these numbers represented what we really had is we have the um, amount of change over the original equals the percent change divided by 100. And so by using cross products we can actually make a, make a formula out of this and our formula can be and actually yeah, if we do some cross products here we can actually make a, a formula and that is that the um, amount of change equals the original amount times the percent change over 100. And really this is just uh, that's just changing it into a decimal. So let's actually work this out. Um, the change I know is 200 minus 120 from, uh, from what I wrote above equals the original amount which is 120 times n percent because I'm trying to find a particular percent. So this is just like all the other equation work. So I have 80 equals 120 times n percent 
divide by 120, divide by 120, and I get 0 0.6 repeating equals n percent. So just like all the other work, if I know that if I'm using the equation, I, this is giving me a decimal, so I have to change that back into a percent of 66.6 .6 repeating percent. So two different techniques, one using a proportion and one using an equation. In the second question, we're told that $350 is increased by 7%. Find the new amount. So in this case, we're actually given the percent change. We're told that we have an increase of 7%, and then we're being asked to find the new amount. And now we have a couple of different techniques to do. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my proportion again. And for the proportion, it's important to remember that what we're, in this case, what we're doing is we have an increase and we have an original amount. We have number values and we have percent values. So here's what I'm going to write in. Do I know the value of the increase? I do not. So that's going to be my value for n. Do I know the original amount? I do, 350. Do I know the percent of the increase? Yes, I do, that 7, and the original amount is always 100. So now I have a cross product again that I can solve, where 100n equals 350 times 7, divide by 100, divide by 100, and equals, and I'll pull up my calculator, 350 times 7 equals, divided by 100, equals 24.5. Now, the key to remember this, though, is that we're actually not done, because the question is asking us to find the new amount. All I've done so far is find the amount of the increase, but that's not the final amount. To find the new amount, I actually have to remember to go back and add 350 plus 24.5, which equals 374.50, because it's money, dollars. So the new amount in this case is 374.50 dollars. If I want to use an equation to do this, I'm going to use basically the same type of equation I've used before, and that is to find the amount of the increase that's going to equal the original times the percent increase. And so now I'm just going to substitute in all my values here. The amount of the increase, I don't know what that is. The original amount, I know is $350. And the percent increase is 7, but because it's an equation, I have to turn it into a decimal, 0 0.07. And so now, once again, I'll get my calculator out really quickly, and I'll go 350 times 0 0.07 equals 24.5. But once again, I still need to remember to add that to my original amount, so 350 plus 24.5 equals, same as before, 3, 7, 4, and 50 cents. So this is two different ways. So this is how we can use a proportion as well as how we can use an equation to do work that involves percent of change.